were you poor for a time? Sure. I mean, I'm, I just certainly had. I have no recollection of ever really making ends meet, uh, or being in a family that was that was functional monetarily. See, your parents never were what you consider well off. There's times that we would be flush, and then there's times we'd be broke. How does that mess with you now? Like, do you think you still have the mindset of- I do not have poverty mentality, no. You don't? No. You managed to break that completely after the third Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's more of a thing where, first of all, I, I don't know, but I would imagine it would be harder it's just hard, it's hard to adjust to anything that isn't what you're used to. So for me, what was great about that was I'm lazy by nature. It's very motivating. There's no free nothing coming. So get it together and make something of yourself. Yeah, I think we share that. I think that oxymoronically or ironically, my laziness has fueled my work ethic because I will work so hard not to have to work for somebody else doing something I don't want to do. Yes. That, that I'm glad you said that, because we were talking about all this other stuff and yeah. influences and all this. All I want to do, if I can, henceforth, is I want to try to do my. Th I want to try to do my thing. Yeah. You know, you found a way to do your thing. Well, you done okay. all right. Fine. Yeah, no, I know I'm fine. But what I'm getting at is the the growth pattern. Hopefully, is always moving toward being able to go into that place where you're like, I don't know, because then you have to ask the question, all right, you seem really confident, what is your thing? And you go, well, hold on a minute. So I have to dig deeper and really say, what am I willing to push up against, which is either my own resistance, my own ignorance, my own laziness, my own lack of belief in myself, or my own whatever, like, you know, my dad is, growing up, I was Bob Downey's kid. Right. And my dad is and remains this amazing, uh, you know, groundbreaking counterculture underground filmmaker influenced so many other filmmakers and stuff and so naturally for me there will be a desire to want to step into uh, writing and directing I might have said this last time my dad who's quite something and I adore says right to my face the following anybody can act few can direct and nobody can write. <laughs> so That is great. Yes. So where I was coming from when I was growing up as a kid is the highest order of creativity is, are you a writer or are you not a writer? Because if you're a writer, you're doing something that nobody can do. Yeah. If you're a director, you're in kind of rarefied air. If you're an actor, you're doing something anybody can do. Do you sort of feel that way about it a little bit to this Give day? Give me any schmuck off the street, I will make them a film star in 36 hours. I, I'll take it. Okay. Let's try. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you want to see the hour long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is. Offcamera.com. Check it out.